Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com, and I'm going to review Buffer today. I know there's a lot of social media tools and management systems and automation tools and things like that out there now, and Buffer is a big one that people look at and aren't sure but um, might be considering using, and if you're kind of in that boat and you're not really sure which ones to use, I'm going to completely review every aspect of Buffer and kind of give you a verdict at the end and I'll tell I'll break it down for you to every specific area of buffer that you can review and you can make a decision for yourself if it's good for you okay so first is the social media accounts that you can actually connect to buffer now you can connect the bare essentials which are probably all you're going to need which is Twitter your Facebook profile your Facebook page, your Facebook groups, your LinkedIn profiles, your LinkedIn pages, Google Plus pages, and now you can actually um, start using Pinterest. But um, you can't add like Google Plus profiles, you can't add like Foursquare LinkedIn groups, you can't add Instagram or StumbleUpon or Foursquare. Now, one like Hootsuite, you can actually do that. So, you know. If that's a big deal to you, which it probably isn't, and it isn't to most people, but if you do use those kind of lesser known social media sites and you want to automatically post to them too, uh, Buffer might not be your best option. Uh, pricing wise, Buffer is very affordable in my opinion, um, and you can start using it for free if you just want to try it out first, um, or if you just want to use it to a limited extent and don't actually need the bigger plans. but. Um, if you want to unlock more features and get the full use of Buffer, it starts at $10 a month for the awesome plan. You can go up to small business, medium business, and big business, which is $50 for small business, $100 for medium business, and $250 a month for big business. So it kind of depends on what you need, but most likely the awesome plan at $10 a month is all you'll need. Uh, dashboard usability is very clean. It's very easy to navigate. It doesn't have too much going on. Um, some of the other tools um, you might look at will probably have too much going on for you, or you know, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, but um, depends on what you're looking for. But Buffer is very clean and very easy to use, very easy to navigate. Uh, it kind of looks like this, you know. It's you just put your uh, content in here. You can add a photo or video here. You can even create your own custom image with them now. And then you just click which uh, profile you want to add it to. Now you can also automatically share things through feeds, um, RSS feeds, and things like that too. Contributions, you have contribu contributions from uh, others if you're kind of curating content or have multiple people working with you. And there's also you know places where you can add more connections and download the apps so it's pretty easy to use um, as far as apps go I think they pretty much have everyone beat as far as social media tools when it comes to apps because buffer not only has mobile apps on the App Store and Google Play but you can also download this right here on a lot of different um, social media plugins and things like that if, if you have a blog you can add that to your website or blog and it allows people to share it automatically on whatever social profiles they want all at once without having to click each one of these buttons here okay so um, you know it can really help you not only automate your posting but automate um, getting more shares and things like that from others. Uh, as far as feeds go, they have the RSS feed as you can see here. You can click on the RSS feeds and it, and it pulls up different feeds from your favorite websites on there that you can pull from and add to your queue if you want to you know, share other people's stuff and not just your own all the time, which is you know, probably a good idea to do. Um, but they don't have things like feed management from your actual news feed on your uh, 
different profiles like say Hootsuite um, which is kind of known for their uh, live feed management you can look at your Facebook feed you can look at your Twitter feed and all that stuff in one page instead of going back and forth Buffer doesn't have that but they mo mostly focus on posting things like that so um, if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for a feed management it's probably not the best one for you um, as far as posting Buffer is known as one of the best social media auto posting services obviously like I said that's what they specialize in that's what they focus on they don't really add a lot of other things to um, give you too many options to choose from and uh, one thing I really love about them is they don't add their branding to everything like say Hootsuite or some of the other competitors they add their Hootsuite like it says you posted from Hootsuite on some of these posts like this is a Facebook post for instance and it says via Hootsuite so it's showing people that you're not even posting live that you're probably doing something else and not even on your social profile and a lot of people are kind of turned off by that so I don't want people to know whether I'm online or not as far as when I post on Facebook pages and things like that and if you're like me you'll really love that Hootsuite doesn't market its name all over everything that you do as far as the other features you know they have the basic they have the analytics so you can check your um, your, your uh, popularity of your posts how much engagement you're getting things like that um, it helps you know what works what doesn't uh, you do have custom scheduling if you want to post every five minutes if you want to post every 30 minutes if you want to post every hour if you want to post on only certain days of the week you can do all those types of uh, things on buffer and you can also add automatic link shortening with a site like bit.ly and um, that way you know if the URL you're sharing is really long it won't take up a bunch of space in your post so all in all as far as buffer goes I give it a four star out of five rating um, you know I give it a five star if it wasn't for you know maybe having fewer options than maybe a few of its competitors do in certain areas like if they added content management or maybe they they allowed you to connect to uh, StumbleUpon, Foursquare, you know some of the smaller social sites too that a lot of people still like to use um, things like that um, you know you probably won't need those things but you know if you really wanted that kind of stuff you might need to use another one or use maybe buffer and Hootsuite together in a certain way or just get the both best of both if you want because there's really no tool that I've seen that has all of the above but you know a four star ratings very solid and I really like buffer especially for just posting getting more shares and um, you know collecting RSS feeds curating content scheduling things and seeing you know how good your posts are doing in the analytics so you know it's simple it's easy to use it looks good it's it's not gonna put its name all over your stuff and uh, overall it's just a great tool so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you understand kinda what you're gonna what direction you're gonna go in now as far as whether to use buffer or to not use buffer I hope this video helped you um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want more reviews like this and more uh, marketing tips, uh, personal development tips to help you build a stronger business. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to let us know um, what you decide to do as far as trying out Buffer or if you want to let us know uh, maybe an alternative that you prefer to Buffer, something like that. Let us know in the comments or just let us know what you thought about the video. And don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com where we have more in-depth information um, and we go more detailed into the training and we give you some free resources and things like that. Or if you just want to contact me, you can go there as well. And uh, other than that, I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you the next one and I hope you have a great day.